Hey guys, welcome back to Brilliance's Math Club. Today I'm going to be doing in the topic improper fractions and mixed numbers. Now this is the first topic in our chapter, and this topic is like very necessary. Like it's probably the most important thing that you need to know in this chapter because we're going to be using these improper fractions and mixed numbers. So in this video, I want to cover like what are like the terms for each of these and also how to convert each of these like from improper fractions to mixed numbers and then reverse so mixed numbers to improper fractions. So first I'm going to start off with some like basic definitions. And by basic definitions, I mean definitions that I think are really easy for you to remember. So for improper fractions, so if you write improper fractions over here, improper fractions are just fractions that have numerators that are greater, so that's the greater sign, than, sorry, than the denominator. So by that, like an example for an improper fraction could be 14 over 3 because the numerator is greater than the denominator. So that makes an improper fraction because remember, the prefix for M is not, right? So that means not proper fraction, improper fraction. So that's that for improper fraction. Now a mixed number on the other hand, is just a whole number combined with a fraction. So an example for a whole number, I'm sorry, a mixed number could be 3 and 2 fifths because 3 is the whole number and 2 fifths is a fraction and so together it becomes 3 and 2 fifths which is a mixed number. So that's um, the basic definitions I have for each of these terms. Now what if we had an improper fraction, so if we cut this, these definitions out and let's say we had an improper fraction such as 16 over 3 and we had to convert this into a mixed number. How do we do that? Well it's really really simple. It's pretty much like simple division used in this because all you have to do is you divide the numerator which is 16 by the denominator which is 3. So if you come over here and you do 16 divided by 3 you know that 3 goes into 16 5 times because 3 times 5 is 15 and your difference is 1, right? And now what you do is you're going to bring up your remainder and you're going to write R1 for remainder 1. So now you have your quotient 5 remainder 1. So how do you make this into a mixed number? Well, all you have to do is remember the quotient, which is 5 in this case, becomes your whole number for your mixed number. Your remainder, which is 1, becomes your numerator. So that becomes 1 over your divisor, which is the number that you divided by, which is 3 in this case, becomes your denominator. So 3, remember, quotient equals whole number, remainder equals numerator, and divisor equals denominator. So now you have your mixed number for 16 over 3, which equals 5 and 1 thirds. So that was really simple, right? Now how about we put this in opposite, like first we have a mixed number, and now we have to convert a mixed number into an improper fraction. So for an, an example for a mixed number, could be 6 and 2 ninths. So we have this mixed number and we have to convert this into an improper fraction. How do we do that? Well, here is the basic formula for this. The whole number, which is 6 in this case, right? Whole number times the denominator, which is 9, plus the numerator, which is 2. So the numerator. So that is just the formula, whole number times denominator plus numerator. So that means 6 new whole number times denominator, which is 9, plus 2, which is a numerator. And now you have 6 times 9 plus 2. And we all know that if we write this over here, 6 times 9 plus 2, we know that 6 times 9 equals 54, plus 2 equals 56. And now we have 56. Remember, your answer, which is 56 in this case, is always going to become your numerator. So that means 56, so if we cut this out, 56 is now your numerator. And what is your denominator? Well, 
You keep the denominator as it is. So the denominator for 6 and 2 ninths was 9, right? So 9 is going to stay as your denominator. So that means the improper fraction for 6 and 2 ninths equals 56 over 9. Now let's try another example, which is like for a mixed number to an improper fraction, except for this time let's do it with like larger numbers, because 6 and 2 ninths are like three basic numbers, right? What if we had numbers that were in like maybe 16 and 12 and like big numbers, right? So maybe let's say we have 16 and 12 over, let's say 40. These are some big numbers, and I know that sometimes it might get a little confusing, but it's just, remember this, as long as you know the formula, you can do any numbers. It doesn't matter the value of the number as long as you know the formula. And we know the formula, which is whole number times denominator plus numerator. So that becomes 16, which is whole number, times denominator, which is 40, plus numerator, which is 12. So first you have to do 16 times 40. So if we come over here and do 16 times 40, now remember this trick. Whenever you have a number that has a zero after it, which is like for in this case 40, you don't need to do like 16 times 40 and go all the way. That would take you a long time. Here's an easy way. For now, forget about the zero. So let's just put the zero over here, okay? And just do it with four. So now that means the four is going to come in the ones place now. And just do 16 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24. Carry the 2. 4 times 1 is 4 plus the 2 equals 64. And now all you have to do is bring back the 0 from there and add in your answer afterwards. So that from 64 becomes 640. That means the product for 16 times 40 equals 640. And that didn't take us long, right? So now we have 640 plus 12. So 640 plus 12. We know that 0 plus 2 is 2, 4 plus 1 is 5, and 6 comes down as it is. So now we have 652 as our sum, so that means we get 652. So remember, 652, which is your answer, becomes your numerator. So you have 652 as your numerator, and remember, the denominator stays the same, which is 40, and you have your improper fraction for 16 and 12 fortieths, which is 652 over 40. So that's that for improper fractions and mixed numbers. Now keep on watching our videos because we will have coming up videos like on adding and subtracting mixed numbers and further videos that will deal with improper fractions and mixed numbers. And we hope you keep on watching and we'll see you guys next time.